Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm trying to upgrade my Jason Bow Pro to dual model. I just received the second Jason Bow Pro today. I'm going to put one of the rear model to to the other one front, and then they are they are the same system, so I can connect everything together. I think that's the best volume to do this upgrade. If you buy it on Amazon or somewhere else, it will be more expensive than just buy another Jason Bolt Pro. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I got everything put on the new bike. The the second step is I'm going to take everything out of this frame. Okay, I got everything I need out. The throttle and the power switch. And I got the new bike cover off. And I need to do some tests. And this one should be the headline, and this one should be, uh, should be the power, power switch. Okay. Okay. All I need to do the test is the throttle. I'm trying to use one throttle to two controller. So and the brake system. Okay, I got everything hooked back to the the second controller. Now I'm going to cut this blue and see and trying to use one. Okay. Now I'm going to use a wire to bring this line over here and then cut this one. Okay, and also use this white and I'm going and I'm also going to test the test the brake system use this white cable white spray cable.
now time to hook up the battery. Oh Jesus, I hear something. First five hours on. And then the second five is okay, the second by powers on the and then the throttle should be not working. Whoops, it's still working. Okay, I just figured out on my controller is it should be the green wire. On because I was say as I, I saw somebody was saying it's blue wire, but now on my controller is green. Okay, let's try it again. The 5 volt and the ground cable are all cut, so the the battery level light it won't turn on. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's working. Okay, now it's working. One throttle, two wheels. Good. Yeah. I'm also going to test the, the brake. It's working. Oh, working. Yep, should be working. Okay, both sides working. If you don't have the spray cable, just hook them up together with uh, blood to blood and red to red, I think. Okay, that's all we need to know. 
could connect the brick together and we, we can put the water signal signal cable and put them together and it, one throttle could control two model two controller okay now i'm going to take this view off Okay, and then I'm going to take off the gun wheel. Okay, so I got the I got the front wheel off, and then I believe uh, the rear motor is hundred thirty mm, and and the front and and here front only hundred hundred ten. So what I'm trying to do is. Use this jet. I make it wide open. <laughs> Just barely enough.
you need a washer at the brake side for object the brake. Okay, it's working. Okay, I got the real way installed, but this power cable is too short. It could too short so I'm going to make a hole from here and I need to take the battery out and just put the controller just like this in there so I can keep everything in the box okay I made a little hole here so this cable could go through from here and then I'm going to put the put the controller over here I haven't tested this spread cable for the parallel assistant so I just put it in and see if it works Okay, now I'm going to install this bottle. This is the old bottle from the old bike. I just cut it off. And that's the power at the power at the power switch for the front model. Okay, now I'm going to put this cable through here, so I got a wire, uh, I got a wire inside that I uh, used to pull the, pull the cable. Okay, and pull, and pull a wire here. And just tap to tie up and then start pulling. Don't forget go through those press ring. Okay, the final wire part. So and all we need is just this uh signal uh signal wire to 
to uh, connect them together so they can just use one uh, throttle okay from here Okay, let's test it out.
It was good. Then my little object is ready. Just fire out the key. The cover is not able to to put it on. So I decide to take the battery out and just leave the controller inside. Okay, I I took the battery out. And then I'm going to drill uh, two holes here and then put the second controller over here. Okay. Also, you can do it this way. Put two controller over here, but you have to cut this metal off. And once you cut the metal off, you can go back. And it also have also might have uh, over overheating problem. So do it on your on your own risk.